Hey guys, even here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting updates. A day before the show tomorrow is the New York Pro, and we got a couple of very interesting updates, final updates, and we're gonna start with the one about Nick Walker. So, I don't have a video footage of this, unfortunately, I couldn't film it. As soon as I clicked on this video, they were talking about it, so I didn't film it, but some of you guys probably saw it, so you can confirm in the comment section, but basically, Nick said that he is 10 pounds lighter today than one week out. Again, you're gonna have to take my word for it, but it was expected, 10 pounds is reasonable. I wouldn't be too surprised if it was more, because in a recent Jay Cutler podcast, Jay said that he lost 30 pounds in 2001. 2001, how much weight did I lose the last week? Talk about it all the time, almost 30 pounds. Yeah. Okay. I mean, 30 pounds is ridiculous. It's, it's, it's crazy, it's probably too much. But if Nick said that he lost like 15 pounds, I wouldn't be too surprised, because it looks like he was holding some water here. I think 10 pounds is gonna do it. I think 10 pounds is enough, he wasn't that watery, he was in my opinion pretty decently conditioned, the lighting here was horrible, so he didn't look as conditioned as he would if the lighting was proper, and again, I never had an issue with his conditioning, I mean, I always thought he was gonna be as conditioned as necessary, probably even more than necessary, so, I mean, he's most likely going to win this show, because his back shots and his side shots are gonna dominate absolutely everybody, I just don't know how much could his silhouette, the lack of Wii taper, actually more so X frame because his legs are also kind of smaller than his upper body and now with a little bit more blown up midsection, I just don't know how much can that hurt him. I was never worried about the condition and I think everybody is talking about how he was criticized about his conditioning, I never had an issue with that. Honestly, if he showed up on that stage with the same conditioning and he lost 10 pounds all from his belly all from his midsection somehow, that would probably be even a better scenario, because that's the only thing that can stop him here, that can prevent him from winning, that can ruin him. And it shouldn't be taken lightly, it's a serious problem, I mean, look at the side chest, look at the side shots, the back shots, everything is extraordinary, but again, the midsection, the X-frame, the silhouette, it's, it's not very good. I mean, what kind of changes really can he do in only one week? He can't change much, let's be honest here. What he can do is try harder, try harder to hold that midsection in, maybe have less water, that will definitely help, and less food on that day, and that will probably do it. I mean, so far we never saw Nick losing control of his midsection on a bodybuilding stage. Yeah, I know, we never saw it even on guest posings, but he never guest posed one week out of a big show like this. So he had to do what he had to do, and it was drinking a lot of water and eating all of his meals, but all of his other previous guest posings, he was, you know, like, in the middle of his off-season or something like that, post-show and so on, so he could afford to, you know, do something, make some changes to make his physique look better on that day. This time around, he couldn't do anything about it because he's one week out, the show is too important to, you know, mess with, with, with the peak week and so on, and now that he lost those 10 pounds and hopefully his uh, belly is gonna be empty, he's gonna do fine and most likely win this show. It is interesting the story he posted on his Instagram, check it out, in the caption he says see ya tomorrow and I guess the lion is representing himself and the dogs are the other competitors who want to take his lunch but he just looks at them and they go away. Just like that. <laughs> maybe it's gonna be like that tomorrow, maybe not, we'll see. But it's interesting that he just did a workout with uh, Quinton Araya, who is potentially, potentially maybe, maybe the top challenger to Nick Walker. I mean, we'll see. I don't know. The other guys are proven. We don't know how much Quinton really progressed. Uh, he could be a very interesting addition to this show because his physique is completely different from what we are used to. I mean, he has the kind of Samson Dowd, Andrew Jack type of physique. And if he added the tissue he needed to add, then, you know, he can be an actual threat to, the, to Nick Walker. But I'm not very optimistic about that. By the way, the reason why they are training together is because they have the same coach, Matt Jensen. He likes to do that before the shows. He gathers all of his guys, his training. 
And you guys probably remember the reason why Matt and Nick parted their ways at the beginning of 2022 was because Nick wanted Matt to stop working with all of the other top pros, other Olympians. And uh, of course, uh, Matt wouldn't do it. There was also a disagreement about uh, doing the Arnold Classic or skipping it. Anyways, uh, Nick, I, I remember clearly that Nick wanted Matt to stop working with, I don't know, Brett Wilkin, with, I don't know, Charles Griffin, Sean Clarida, whoever he had uh, as far as the top guys. And of course, Matt wouldn't do it, so Nick uh, stopped working with Matt, and then they got back together, and now I guess Nick is fine with this. And he's even training with the other guys, so <laughs> it's cool to see, but I mean, in these videos, in these photos, actually, I mean, Nick looks, I mean, he, look, he definitely looks bigger than Quinton. Of course, he's got the angle, yeah, but just, I mean, you can still see that Nick is massive, and Quinton, he's not on that level of size, not even close, really. Maybe it's gonna look different on stage, because Quinton is tall and he has really small joints and really small waist and he has some standout body parts, like his limbs are, I mean his calves and his arms are big, quads not so much, but again with that midsection, with that small waist, they're probably gonna look bigger than they are, he has an amazing axe frame, great weight taper, so maybe he's gonna look uh, comparable. But after I saw these photos from a couple of days ago, and I'm guessing that Matt's approach is, you know, kind of old school from what I heard. He's probably depleting his guys and then carving them up. And uh, I guess Quinton at this moment was as flat as he's ever gonna be. So that's why he looked so downsized. And that's what he looked like. He definitely looked here. I mean, I don't want to use the word small, but definitely smaller than I expected him to look. Kind of like he made no progress from last year, from two years ago, actually. I guess it's only because he's super depleted. Once he carves up, he's gonna be... Hopefully, he's gonna be... Like, I think when he carves up, he's gonna look more shredded. You know, I think his skin is gonna stretch out more. He's gonna be, like, full and, and, and round. I think Matt really carves up his guys heavily. So everybody comes in super full. And I guess conditioning does look better than before. Yeah, I think I see some new lines from the side, but, you know, again, the size, he doesn't look that much improved. Honestly, this kind of looks like a classic bodybuilder to me. I mean, a little bit fuller, a little bit bigger, but classic more so than open. Again, it's most likely simply because he's super, super, super flat, and that's it. If he is really more conditioned than the last time and he carves up properly and comes in big and full and, and shredded, you know, it can make a difference. He can look better on that day on the stage. But again, these photos, I didn't like them at all. Hopefully he can listen to Matt and trust him and not panic. I think a lot of bodybuilders would panic if they, if they look like this a couple of days out. Because again, he looks much smaller than usual. Hopefully he doesn't watch this video today. But if he does, maybe it won't bother him because he knows exactly why that is the case. Again, because he's flat and now it is Saturday today, so he probably carved up and he can see that uh, he now full looks much better. Hopefully that is the case. As far as his uh, back shot, we don't see the back double, which is probably more important than the back lat spread. And there's probably the reason why he's not posting it. It was pretty weak, his weakest pose before... I don't know how much he improved it, maybe he's not posting it because it looks much better, he wants to surprise us, but I think he said in an interview that he likes his back lat spread, and I think I would say he made some improvements in that back, but nothing crazy, you know, it's not like a new back, it's better, but not that much better, again, it's probably also because he's so flat, if, he's, if he was carved up here, he would probably look much better, uh, also, the glutes are looking really lean, but again, they are also gonna get much, much tighter once he's ready for the stage finally. So we'll see, it's gonna be very interesting to see him compared to the other guys, guys like Martin Fitzwater, Tony O'Burton, of course Nick Walker as well. Let's check out the other guys as well, let's check out Martin Fitzwater from yesterday. So here's one in New York at Bev's Gym, a powerhouse. Uh, Steve Weinberger is the owner of this gym and he's organizing, he's promoting the New York Pro and he's probably gonna be judging Martin. Now, as you can see, Martin's back, I mean, his back and his glutes, everything looks uh, shredded, everything looks dry, separated, probably a little bit, maybe a little bit better than uh, at the Detroit Pro. I mean, it's probably gonna look much better, a little bit better on the stage because this is not the final look, he still has time uh, before the stage, uh, maybe they're gonna just cruise and look like this on the stage, it'll be good as well, in my eyes, Martin is gonna be probably second, that's what I have him, 
right after Nick Walker. Here is another video as well from the front, so, I mean, if you guys remember the time he did a Texas Pro and then the UK, Arnold Classic UK, he was in significantly worse shape in the UK. So, I thought maybe this time around he ruins his conditioning from Detroit to New York, but I don't think he did that. I think his conditioning is very comparable, if not a little bit better. I mean, we'll see on stage. I'm not sure exactly when this was taken. I think it is like uh, one or two days out. So it's not gonna get drastically better, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. In my eyes, he's in the second spot battling against Tony Burton, probably. I think that's the safest bet. And we also have an update from Tony as well. Unfortunately, we cannot see his legs, but we can see his upper body. It's looking good. I mean, he competed recently as well at the Arnold Classic Brazil, as you guys know, and he looked phenomenal. He looked great. And the problem, I would say, I mean, not the problem, but like his weakest poses were his side poses. And as you can see, his side chest here looks good, but I would say not as good as Martin. And uh, Martin has an amazing back as well. Tony has a, probably a better back, but I think it's comparable. And as far as the front shots, I think Martin, I mean, his biceps are a little bit, you know, kind of softer. He doesn't have the best detail in that area, but overall, I think Martin is just more compact, you know, more complete. But I do believe it's going to be a great battle. Again, I think Beef Stew can surprise. And I believe Quinton is also a big X factor. I don't know what to expect from the guy. He's definitely much different than all of these guys. So he might stand out as well. But whatever you guys think, you're free to tell us down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more bodybuilding content and the coverage of the New York Pro and so many other shows this year and upcoming years, guys, just stay here, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.